Alright, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is Bullet RC coming to you guys again with another Carm Loop haul. Now this time it is supposed to be my July haul. I am getting to it a little bit late. It was kind of like a back to school type thing. So if you are still looking for some of these items, they may still be there and they may not. But go ahead and do a little browsing. They might have added some new um, stocks to CarmLoop.com. As well as if you are shopping on there, my rep code is MOONMAN94. If you're shopping on Plunder or Burke Harbor, it works there too. And if it doesn't exactly work on your order, just try some other rep codes. You know, it's funny sometimes with the, the codes and the savings sometimes on certain items. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to sit here and talk your heads off for future reference in the clothes. I am about six foot, six foot one, and I weigh about 190. So that's how you can kind of gauge how it may fit. And I'll definitely make sure to let you guys know what the sizing is on everything so you're not confused. Anyways, let's go ahead and unbox the clothes and then let's get into the actual Carmel Haul. While I'm sitting on top of the world, it's only one second to kill, and I can't get it back. My life is a sham, no time to react. Breathe, find solace on the fact my ball bigger. Pause like dog fingers. Give a fuck about y'all niggas. Get the point like ball kickers. I do shit. Eat good, need a toothpick. Yo, girl, play my music, so that's thumbs down to your new shit. Buddha stance on the forest on the ayahuasca. I'm high as copters, binoculars, looking down on my confidence. Truly honest, man. I wish there was more of us freaking out. All right, y'all. So for the first two pieces, we have two black and white, very simple pieces. This first T-shirt is by Sir. You guys have seen me pick these up before. I actually really do like the T-shirts, and I decided to stick with the large just because the medium I can fit it, but it's a little bit too fitting for me at this point. Um, I'd rather get the large and then just shrink it. When you're in between the medium and the large, it's kind of weird trying to order shirts online. So. For those guys who are in that same predicament as me, I would say go with a large for this one and then just try to shrink it if you want. I think it's going to be a lot better fitting than try to get a medium and fit into it and then try to wash it and it shrinks on you. And as well as this hat right here, you guys know 10 deep snapbacks, definitely a good fit on these. These hats and um, huff hats, they fit amazing in my opinion. Um, so you guys can see it's just basically a black and white um, hat as well, has your little palm tree with the 10. On the front of it and on the back just have a triangle with the uh, another one of the 10 deep insignias the triple X's on the back so this is what it looks like turned backwards you know nothing crazy real simple as far as the t-shirt goes as you guys can see it's all black white you also have your red hit of sir right here on the left sleeve and on the back it says lone wolf um, as I said again nothing too crazy it's just another t-shirt that is basically something that I can throw on anytime I want hey I need a black and white t-shirt grab it toss it on anyways let's get into the next piece all right, y'all, so for this next piece, we have this RVCA t-shirt. Now, as you guys can see, I did get a size large. Um, I would say for the people that are stuck between medium and large, or you flex between both of those, get the large and just shrink it. Since this already is kind of like a vintage washed looking t-shirt, it's not gonna really matter if you throw it in the washer again and dry it. It's not really gonna kill you. As well as the only detailing on this, there's nothing on the back, but there is RVCA right here, and yellow, green, blue, and then a purple kind of gradient. But for me, this isn't really a shirt that I would wear by itself. Um, I would get a lot more use of this like underneath a jacket, and I just wanted to throw this one on, this jacket on. You guys see me wear this a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you see this jacket a whole lot. Like I'm always wearing this jacket. It's just because it's really, really easy to throw on. It's lightweight, and I can still wear it like in the summer nights. Um, just for info, if you guys want a link to it, I guess I'll leave like a comment or something, a link to it. I don't know if they still have it, but it was from H&M. And this is basically a $30 jacket from H&M. Um, as you guys can see, it's kind of like a bomber-esque look, but it's really, really lightweight, and you can just throw it on. And it has a cuffs on the end. It's just something that I did want to bring to you guys in one video or another, or mention it just because I wear it so much. I think it's something that you guys would like to have. I mean, you guys can see the fit on it, and it looks great with this shirt. I could throw on some black jeans. Shadow ones, royal ones, uh, the all black Harachis, maybe with some dark denim, um, and then just make it work. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of how it would look. This is how I would wear it. So let's go ahead and hop into the next piece. All right, y'all. So for the next two pieces, I have this right here, this play clothes hat, as well as a 10 deep jersey. Now, I usually size up in all types of 10 deep jerseys, except for the baseball jerseys, because I don't usually wear my baseball jerseys buttoned up. I usually wear them open with a shirt underneath. But if you want to wear them buttoned up, you probably should wear it or at least order a size up. But I usually just stay in my true size. It's not that bad. I think it'll be okay. Anyways, getting into this right here, this jersey, of course, is supposed to mimic kind of like a uh, football jersey in a way, but it's kind of different. It's basically a cotton t-shirt really really nice fine cotton But there's like shoulder pads right here not actual shoulder pads in the shirt But there's like a thicker cotton up here to mimic shoulder pads in a way You guys can see the tin on the front as well, and then you got the deep on the sleeve So you got the D with the X Then you got the X and the P and of course the X is representing the E's 10 deep on the sleeves 
as well as the four stars on each sleeve. So there you go. And then as you guys get into the hat, you guys can see it's a play clothes hat. I did like this one because it was a suede brim as well as a suede strap in the back. It kind of has like a bronze um, kind of vintage look enclosement on it as well. So I went ahead and picked this one up. This is a hat I've been looking for for a while or looking at for a while. I just never pulled the trigger on it. So there it is. There's a jersey. Let's hop into the next piece. All right, so next up we have this long sleeve that's actually size medium that fits me in the arms. It's by a brand called Insight. Um, I forgot how much this one exactly was, but I don't think it was really expensive at all. And I like it. It's it's a medium, fits me in the arms, fits me in the body. It's just very nice. I actually really like this. I'm glad I picked it up. Did you guys see it? It says Insight INS written on both sleeves. So you really get your money's worth with the print. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys leave your Illuminati comments down below when you see the back. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and do that. So go ahead, as you guys can see, you got your little eye back there in the triangle on um, the pyramids and everything. So, you know, go ahead and insert Illuminati comments down below. Anyways, as I was saying, size medium, charcoal gray. And I realized that I've been forgetting to show the shoes up to this point. So these right here, I would say would go good with the cement four. Now it's not the exact same gray, but it's not that big of a deal you know you can you'll live if it's not the exact same gray but i think it'll be a good choice because it's mostly a white shoe definitely works with the hits but also has a gray in it as well maybe throw on a hat i just threw on the play clothes hat again because i thought it looked good anyways let's hop into the next piece all right so guys next up we have two pieces once again we have a 10 deep hat now this is basically an all black five panel with 3m accents on the side as you guys can see d x x p as in deep this is all 3m on both sides as well as there is a little 10 deep logo patch on the back of the hat with a little 10 deep logo as well on the actual enclosures on the straps or whatever um and yeah it's basically all black with your 3m hits very very simple but definitely a nice hat the 3m definitely adds to it i'm noticing that a lot of times if you see a 10 deep item that's black with gray but it looks like it might be 3m it's probably 3m it just doesn't say it in the description as far as the shirt goes you guys have seen the blue one of this i did cop before um this one is a red alternative to that this is a size medium i like the fits on i like the fit on huff hats uh, i definitely like the fit on this huff shirt that's why I picked up this one, the blue one. I'm probably going to go ahead and get the, it's like a sea green one. I think they have my size. There's some more colors, but I really, really like this t-shirt, guys. It's the same thing on the back as at the front. Kind of like this tie-dye-ish red look, just with a little white huff accent. So this shirt, of course, would go good with, I mean, you got the Supreme and Vans, Comme des Garçons junks. Um, you got the, the Lance Mountains is really easy. I mean, it's black, red, and white. I was going to say the infrareds, but it's a different, I don't know, it, it's just too deep dark. I, I do say don't go color for color, but I feel like with the infrareds, it's something that I would just wear in all black. Um, something that's all black. I wouldn't really wear something that was black and maybe infrared unless it was like a little bit of infrared on it. I just want to go with something all black just to make it really easy for me. So I guess since we're on the topic of infrareds, I'll go ahead and wear this jersey with the infrareds because I know I forgot to say it before. Anyways, let's hop into the next piece. All right, so next up I have this Birds of Paradise 10 Deep jersey. You guys know this one is a size medium, not a large, and it actually does fit me pretty well on the sides. It's not too slim um, for me, so I guess I would say you go ahead with your true size in this baseball jersey. I just wanted to go ahead and button up so you guys can see it. I usually don't wear it buttoned up like this. Um, I usually like to wear mine open. As you guys can see, it's basically an all blue. Now this isn't black, but it's close enough to black where you can flex it. So usually when I'm wearing this, like, I'm going to reference these shoes a lot probably in every time I do a fit video because I just wear them so much is the Lance Mountains because one's red, black, and white and then one's blue, black, and white. So it goes perfect with this um, just because the navy blue on it is so dark that it can be black. And if you want it to be navy blue, you can be navy blue. I mean, you can flex it either way. But as I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and unbutton so you guys can see. Now, I probably wouldn't wear such a loud t-shirt with this and you're probably saying, that's not really a loud t-shirt. But when you pair it with this thing, which is already like super loud, super colory, and then you throw in the red, I mean, you could do it per se, but you don't have to. You could just wear something regular white t-shirt or a regular dark blue, navy blue t-shirt, a regular uh, gray t-shirt, anything would work. And then another option you also have is you could throw in some all white vans, of course, your skate highs. I mean, this could be a fit right here, bang, bang, bang. Throw in some light blue, just light blue denim, the H&M denim I always wear, you guys like that. Here you go, there's a fit right there. Anyways, let's hop into the next piece. All right, so next up I have another Huff t-shirt. Now this one is a size medium once again. 
fits great on me. Of course, you can see it's kind of like a barred tie-dye look. The only insignia on it is the circular Huff logo right here on the left chest. That's it. It's stitched in. And then the back, of course, you guys can see it just carries more of that bar tie-dye look. Um, the obvious choice, of course, is the Grape Fives with this tee, but I went with something a little different, something that I don't pull out usually on the norm, and um, I actually put this up on Instagram probably like earlier this week. So these right here are the Kobe 7 Invisibility Cloaks, and I think this is a great shoe to go with this shirt. It has the blue, I mean, it has like that blue and has the purple, and of course, you guys know, the Invisibility Cloaks, they change colors. Hope you guys can kind of see it. Um, some people didn't even know I had these, but yeah, I've had these for a while. I just don't really pull them out often, just because it is one of my favorite pairs of shoes. Um, a pair of shoes I really did hunt down for a while, and I actually finally found them. I think worn once for like 180 or something. But anyways, that is basically it for this t-shirt right here. All right, y'all, so just to end off the haul, I wanted to show these Clark's Wallaby Runs. Now, these are my favorite pickup of this haul, but I did want to show these as well. I got these mostly just for you guys or the people that like high socks out there. I'm not the biggest fan of high socks, as you guys probably know. Um, these are basically a black and white dope culture pair of socks. You see dope on the sides, black and white tie-dye, nothing crazy, but I did want to just cop a pair of socks. I know you guys will like the look for these. So these ones, I tolerate. I say tolerate because some of you guys out there that be wearing like elites and stuff, y'all act like y'all were born with elite socks. Like y'all came out the womb and elite socks were instantly on your baby feet. Like if you're one of those people, you can just respectfully miss me with that. But anyways, as I was saying, this is the Clark's Wallaby Run. Basically a wallaby with a much smaller sole on it. Of course, low cut as well. And I love Clark's. Like they're pretty cheap for a casual shoe. They look good. Um, as you can see, this is basically a seafoam green pair. It kind of matches my shirt in a way. The bottom of it, it is a rubber outsole. It's usually an all crepe outsole, but it is crepe right here. And then you get into your rubber on the bottom. Not too much else is going on with the shoes. They're a very basic shoe, but the just the suede look of it is just really nice. Of course, you got your Clarks on the inside, Clarks Originals. On the inside, you got your paper as well. And then you got your Clarks logo going back there on the heel. It is only on one shoe, so the other one does not have it. But, as I was saying, definitely a nice casual shoe just to make that Gordon Beers, you know, maybe that P.F. Chang's move or something like that. I don't think you can go wrong with Clark's. I did get mine in a size 11 and a half, so if you need to go a half size down, you're perfectly fine. The Clark's do run a little big, but if you go your true size, you'll be fine as well. Alright, so you guys know how I like to end the videos. Much love to all the fam, followers, and supporters. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and leave that like. And if you aren't already, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BulletRC. I just hit 30,000 or 30K on Instagram about a week ago. So insert Bobby Shmurda song here. And I'm um, going to go ahead and see you guys on the next video. Um, as far as future videos are coming, I know you guys wanted to see this. This is the Infrared 6. Um, so I'm going to be doing this one soon for you guys, as well as the 3M Future. Um, I just picked these up today, just off of Impulse. I was going in to get the um, Tech Challenge Hybrids, walked out with these, and then um, that KD7 Lace Tutorial. So it's been a long video. If you're watching it until here, I appreciate you. Bye, gotta go. Peace.